guys, uh, what's going on? It's your boy Ollie. Uh, today I'm talking about my struggle with depression and what happened and why I went into one and shit like that. So, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Last year, um, I got, I think it was the first day back I got into school, uh, to up to the second, third period, uh, name calling, pushing around, thought it was just a joke, but turns out it wasn't went out two months then anymore so I sort of fell into a small depression and then over time it got worse I was probably in it for a good six months actually did everything at school and I told my mum and we told the school but the school never did anything about it pretty shit school to be honest everyone there's cunt pardon my French but it's true uh, then it got to the point one day where I said to my mum I'm going to school but it turns out I didn't go to school, I went to the beach down where we live and walked all the way to the end so no one could find me and just sat there for the whole day, like the whole day of school just sat there thinking is what life really worth living, like should I kill myself type thing I knew I wouldn't do it, it just wouldn't, I couldn't do it it was something I was thinking through my mind constantly and I was quite scared to be honest drowning myself in that uh, Luckily, my mum's phone was broken at the time because the school text your parents when you're not in. So um, I come home from school and I was like, Mum was like, you have a nice day? And I was like, yeah, it was all right. And then um, eventually in the evening, I told her what happened and she said, why? And I told her that I was in depression and uh, she burst out in tears. And then uh, I started crying because she was really upset, just school. And uh, I got counselling for about... A month, months, a month and a bit, a month and a bit. It was nice to talk to someone, to someone who wasn't a, a fucking cunt. Talked quite a bit. Stupid stuff at school, I admit that. But some, some of the stuff other kids did was far worse than me, and I still got the mick taken out of me, even though it was ages ago. And uh, I'm not going to name anyone, so they don't deserve naming. Well, they do, but I ain't going to do that because I ain't that type of person. At the age of 15, last year, I have a job. I don't have any GCSEs at all. I'm a gardener. You may laugh, but you um, can see Colchester, Bromley, quite a few places. I pay a month. I'm happy. Still, I think I'm still in the depression. I'm not really too sure. I don't really know, but you know, that's that. Friends and that, who I still know, they're alright, but a lot of people who, um, who I know. I speak to on Xbox and stuff, know about it, and they all supported me through it. And Dad supported me quite a lot, so did my sister. Sometimes I still have them, like, dark comes when I feel down, but it's barely it. rare. It's very rare that happens. It's really not a nice thing. It's just something people need to think about, is why would you want to make someone's life a misery? Why? It's disgusting. Behaviour, some, some of the stuff that's... Some of the things that have been said to me is horrible, it's just... Some people don't have any respect, and so many people are gullible these days, they believe anything, like, they'll follow the crowd, go along with what everyone else says, no one actually understands the truth nowadays. My girlfriend and everything understands everything, and her family understand why I've been taken out. I don't want to go back, I ain't going back. I've been out for a year now, I'm doing fine, and all the teachers say you need GCSEs, but you really don't, because I ain't got any. And I've got a decent job, so my depression and what happened. And if you think that it's wrong to bully someone and make them leave school, considering they've done worse, leave a like. And if you disagree, then fuck off to be honest, I don't really care. Fucking go bully someone. It's up to you, but you're just a cunt in the line. So 50 likes, it probably won't happen, but you know. Um, 50 likes. Try and get a thousand views or so. Try and try and get me to a hundred subs because I really want to get there. Tomorrow there might be a um, not a vlog but like a small little edit because I'm going to Tip Tree Skate Park for a bit I think. So I might do a little edit uh, later in the evening or something. A couple of my mates, but yeah. <laughs>